The most difficult thing is to go to restaurants alone. I did solo traveling through Honduras too, okay. and I've had some tough moments there. I can imagine you've been traveling solo. For the last yeah. two, three years now, yeah, yeah since leaving South America. So how is that? Traveling? We're basically trying to find out the story behind the solo travelers. In this video, we're going to talk to some random people on the streets of Vang Vian in Laos to check out what the story is behind the solo travelers of Southeast Asia. Is this your first time solo traveling? Or? No, no. My first time solo traveling was when I was 20. Why did you go solo traveling? I just really like it. Okay, that's going to sound a little bit egocentric, but I just like that I don't have to compromise. And I also like getting to know myself better and like seeing how I react in certain types of situations without another person, like another person's reaction, reacting with my reaction. So yeah. because I feel like it's a very good way to get to know yourself better. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning of my 20s and when I was a teenager, I had a really hard time being alone. Okay. And so I felt like, I don't know. Sometimes yeah. lonely then. Very uh -oh. lonely, yeah. yes. And I feel like if you can be alone with yourself, you can be a happy person. So I try to do that as often as I can. Ah. And also, I just like the freedom that comes with it. Because yeah. you don't have to like... I mean, of course, there's always friends you can travel with, and I have some too. <laughs> but I just, I don't know, I just like the vibe. I don't think I've ever felt lonely while traveling. Okay. There have maybe, been, maybe we should move here a little bit. There have been moments where I was a little bit afraid. For example, I did solo traveling through Honduras too. Okay. And I've had some tough moments there. Um, but I always felt like, so my, my tip is always to just like breathe in and out 10 times and yeah. see how it feels afterwards. Um, I mean, objectively, Honduras is a little bit more dangerous than Laos, I think. Is it? Okay. For, for foreigners, at least. Feeling unsafe is not nice, but did something happen in Honduras? Or? No, I was just in places that are supposed to be super dangerous. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not that like... I mean, I try to be smart and I try to be careful, but I also like the, the thought of it a little bit. Yeah, I can imagine uh, uh, once in a while you feel like uh, socializing. And where do you do that then if you don't stay in hostels? Um, I mean, I do stay in hostels most yeah. of the time. Okay. Um, but I also like to talk to people, people on the streets. And mm -hmm. because I never get a Wi-Fi SIM card, I always have to ask people for my way. Okay. And I get lost a lot of times also, but that's usually how I meet interesting people getting lost and just asking and then you yeah. you know start a conversation okay so don't be too focused on your phone because you can always do that remote nice yes. that's very useful uh, thank you so much do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on be kind to each other and try to understand instead of being angry are you sometimes feel lonely uh, solo traveling i can imagine no no <laughs> no a lot of these countries again there's a lot of travelers so there's a lot of yeah. a lot of people to meet a lot okay. of, you know especially we speak english as well and how do you how do you meet people then uh, Bars, clubs, apps, you know. Yeah. So, Especially in some places. Countries like Thailand, yeah. very social sunny people. Countries like Malaysia was more difficult to meet people. Okay. Yeah. 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 I can see why there's not so much of a pop culture there and a party scene either. Yeah. Um, so how did you do that then? Are you are... then I more focused on other things rather than meeting people so focused ah. on um, other skills and I went to okay pick up yeah them. I can imagine because especially in my early 20s I also been solo traveling a lot and then I uh, was drinking also a lot yeah. and partying I had a good time man but I can't you can't do that always so it's, no, no, no. yeah so yeah I'm just wondering maybe we can give some advice to the people maybe some younger crowd or people that are even in the 50s 60s mm. they're watching their my first solo journey in Southeast Asia what else can we give them what's some, some advice I mean if you're planning to go the only thing is to just do it because everyone's experience is different. You know, some people, the whole drinking partying is what they do. For other people, it's more experiencing different cultures, different foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, there is something for everyone to experience. I'm here since uh, three weeks and I'm going to b go back in France in a few days and I went there uh, by myself. I, I was solo but I also met some people during my trip. Okay. It was really nice. But where did you go? Sorry, from the beginning, uh, uh, where did you start? Yeah, I was in, uh, in Bangkok and then I went to Chiang Mai and I each hike in the north of uh, Thailand. Oh, how uh, was that? Yeah, really nice, really so, nice. So who picked you up? Like, what, what? like uh, local people living there. Uh, I went in a pickup and it was amazing. And a lot of, pe of different people. I went to like little villages and stuff like that. It was really nice, no yeah. Way. How many days did you hitchhike for? Uh, one week, one week. Yeah. And then after I took a slow boat to uh, Luang, Pram Le Luang Prabang yeah. in the north of uh, Laos. And after I came here in uh, Vientiane. And, nice. uh, yes, it was, did you take uh, the bullet train here? 
the bullet train? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I took a, uh, oh. I took a bus okay. and it was a small bus, okay. overcrowded of local people, <laughs> no air conditioner. No. Yeah, and the roads was like totally a disaster. It was like yeah, boom, yeah. boom, boom. I soaked, uh, I will have some better views. Yeah. But, but it's, yeah, it, I had some better views, but yeah. it didn't waste it, <laughs> really. Hey, but uh, hitchhiking in Thailand, that sounds awesome. Is this your first solo trip? Uh, no, uh, I made some solo trip, but not in a foreign country. I was in, Fra in France. Yeah. There is a famous uh, travel, which is called Saint-Jacques-de-Compostelle. It's so, uh, by foot, is it? By uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And you, you took like two months to go from France to north of Portugal. I've heard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 and I, I really love to spend time with myself. Okay. Like to be just with me, and I, I, I like to be with me, and I, I also <laughs> love I love to be with other people. But yeah, the, yeah. the most important thing is to be good with yourself, okay, and to enjoy your own company. Yeah, it's the most important thing. So that, that's the reason why I make this video. I, yeah. I, I solo traveled as well a lot, and okay. uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Everyone is traveling for different reasons uh, with sure. different perspectives. Uh -huh. So why do you choose to travel solo? Just to be with myself and to know me. Better. Have you traveled also with other people? Yes, yes. I, I met uh, some group of people uh, when I was in Luang Prabang, an oh, American yeah. guy and Dutch people. And oh, so, yeah. uh, yes, we, we spent some time together to go in restaurants and do some activities. Uh, and I also went a uh, few years ago in Erasmus. Okay. So I was with other students during one year in, uh, in exchange students. So I can do both actually, yeah. being with people and being just with myself and it's cool because you can go where you want when you want yeah so it's nice. that's the biggest benefit i think are there any downsides of solo traveling maybe at the beginning when you don't know what to do most of the time because you are just with yourself and sometimes it can be a little bit boring the most difficult thing is to go to restaurants alone actually i can go to cinema alone and it's not a problem i can also go to restaurants but i love to enjoy the meal with someone else yeah. so most of the time i try to go to restaurants with other people but i can go solo so uh, how do you find I, i've been to uh, many hostels especially in my yeah. early 20s and i always like meet people in the, yeah. in the shared areas like the uh, kitchen area or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So how do you meet people now? Is it only in hostels or are you? Yeah, yeah, like in hostels or also during the when I was in the slow boat, yeah. we was like for two days on the slow boat. So of course you meet the people who are with you on the yeah. trip, so you can make some friends there. Uh, yeah, you can meet people everywhere, even in the streets or, <laughs> you know, you can meet people everywhere. True. Actually. Oh, I, I fig figured actually that uh, on buses as well, sometimes you're sitting next yeah, to someone. Yeah, exactly. I, I, and I also met a Thai people when I was okay. in the train. Uh, I met a Thai girl. She was coming from back from France for the Olympics. Oh, wow. So, okay. yeah, we, we spoke a lot and uh, she was living in uh, Frey. It's a, it's a province. I don't know in English, but it's a place uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Thailand and we we, we, we spoke on Instagram and she gave me some tips and some dishes to try and stuff like that. Oh, so yeah, nice. it was uh, nice. Did you visit her in, well in Thailand? Or? No, no, okay. no, I want to, but uh, you know, I had some cities already to yeah. go, so yeah, 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 yeah. I would like to. So, and, and now, you, because your trip is like three weeks in total? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I will be back in Bangkok uh, tomorrow and I spend the rest of my days in, uh, in Bangkok. What's the highlight of your trip? I think it was the north part of Thailand when I was hitchhiking. Uh, yeah. Yes. Did something extraordinary happen? Something that is yeah. really... Uh, when I was in those villages, uh, most of people didn't sp speak English at all. Okay. And even they don't really saw a lot of European people. So it was really amazing because like all the children who saw me was like, hello, hello, hello. And I was like responding, Sawadikap, uh, Sawadikap. It means uh, hello in, in Thailand. And uh, they was like really surprised to saw me. Even the elder people was looking at me with his, like stare eyes. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yes, it was really, wow. really cool. Now we are in Vientiane. How long have you been here? Uh, I just arrived yesterday. Uh, how do you like it so far? I don't really like this city. I was at the night market uh, yesterday okay. night. It was quite yeah. nice, but I think there is not a lot of things to, to do. It's mm. not the best part of Laos, I think. My name is Barry. I'm originally from the UK. Barry? I Barry, uh, but I've been living abroad for the last 16, 17 years. 17 now. years? Yeah, not so, been in the UK for a long time. Mate, yeah. so, uh, have you been only in Southeast Asia or all around? No, I spent 14 years in South America. Okay. Uh, three years almost three years now in, in Southeast Asia, but before yeah. that, 14 years in Brazil and Colombia. Mate, 
can I ask you what you what have you been doing there? Teaching English. Yeah. Teaching English. I'm a teacher. Yeah. So okay. I, I teach and travel. Yeah. Now, are you now teaching in Vientiane? Are you traveling solo? Yes and no. I have a, a Chinese girlfriend, but she's not in Vientiane at the moment. Okay. See, she's gone to China at the moment. Yeah. Visa visa problems, but yeah, yeah she'll be back soon. I, I can imagine you've been traveling solo. For the last yeah. two, three years now, yeah, yeah, since leaving South America. So how is that traveling? We're basically trying to find out the, the story behind the solo travelers. Okay. Uh, yeah, how come you're traveling solo or have been traveling solo? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's advantages and disadvantages, yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, to be honest, going back to the beginning of this, my job, when when the pandemic started, when oh, coronavirus yeah. came, my, all of my work moved online. Yeah. Uh, I was teaching at a university in South America, so I decided to, you know, if I can, if I can kind of teach a few hours a week in South America online, I can do it anywhere, you know. Yeah. So, so I decided to travel. Um, traveling solo sometimes is good. Yeah, you, yeah. you wake up, you decide, you know, you, what you want to do today. Yeah? yeah, but but I must admit, it gets a little bit too much after some time. For yeah. me, two or three years, I'm ready now. Just arrived in Laos, ready to yeah. settle for a year or two in Laos. Yeah, yeah. traveling is great. You know, I've been over the last two or three years, I've been around the world, all over the place. Yeah. So, and, and what's done uh, the best thing, let's say, so far that happened to you while you were traveling solo? Maybe I should say meeting my Chinese girlfriend was the best thing I could do, yeah, just in case she ever sees <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea, mate, good idea. I've been solo traveling myself as well before, yeah. and now I'm traveling together with someone as well. And indeed, I, yeah, it, it's getting tiring maybe a little bit, uh, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of time in bars. Yeah. I, I've been doing this as well. How, how are you living, meeting people? Living in hotels is, diff is difficult also. We, we met in the school. <laughs> we met okay. in the school, actually, that I was teaching, yeah? yeah. So I find... Yeah, I find teaching, you know, a lot of international colleagues, so usually usually make friends like this. But yeah. uh, I, I spend a lot of time walking around the city, you know, so I meet a lot of people in restaurants, coffee shops, yeah. things like and that. And then you would just approach and start talking, let's say, something like that? or Yeah, I'm a little bit of a shy guy, really. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> Okay, you wouldn't say so, no. Uh, it's usually, yeah, some, sometimes, but, you know, usually people are... You know, I don't look very Asian, I guess. Yeah, so people recognize me as a foreigner. You know, you yeah. usually start a conversation and, so, and let's say, like this. Yeah. Let's say some people are watching are also a little bit shy, but are maybe inspired by you traveling so many years. How how should you travel, or what should people do to get out of that comfort zone and start traveling? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I, I would say that any time that you think that you're in in a comfort zone that's the time to move yeah I, I, oh, yeah? I, yeah I think so I mean as I said I'm looking forward to settling here but it will be for a year or two probably a year max to be honest and then I'll be off again yeah so I think uh, you know I think getting out of your comfort zone testing yourself challenging yourself uh, is, is for, for me I can't I yeah. can't imagine any other way to live here. Yeah. You know, I could be sitting on my sofa at home watching family fortunes eating and you know getting big but no, so it's, not, it's not the life for me. Yeah. No, fair enough. Yeah. So you reckon you're going to travel for like pretty much all your life then, something like that? It's something, to be honest, it's something I do think about. Um, if I had to answer that question today, I would probably say, yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Wow. I can't see myself living in England again. If I, you know, maybe we will settle in the future in China, you know, I, I yeah. don't know, I don't know, we'll see. How about uh, friends? I, it's For me, it's quite hard to maintain my friendships, yeah. especially uh, abroad. Yep. So how do you do that? I think maintaining friends, maintaining relationship is, is probably the most difficult part yeah. about it. Yeah, you know, as I say, I'm, I'm alone at the moment. She's back in China, so spend some time alone. But that's life. As I say, 90% of the time I wouldn't exchange with my friends and family back home. Yeah. You know, I don't envy them back in small city in England. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we maintain contact a lot online, but yeah, it's not it's not the same. It's limited. Yeah, it's the same. Same. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know. So yeah, this is one of the big. As I say, this is one of the big disadvantages. But usually, the advantages outweigh yeah. the disadvantages. But who knows? Maybe in a year or two, I will completely change my mind. Let's okay. see. Let's okay. see. Yeah. What's your favorite place in Southeast Asia? I mean, have you been around? Yeah, I've been around for a bit. Yeah, I would have to say probably if if I had to pick probably my favorite country in Southeast Asia is just across the river over there. I'm sure you know Thailand. Yes. Yeah. 
so yeah. you know it's a little bit touristy but if you get away from the tourist places i think thailand's yeah. a really nice place I, I i like vietnam a lot also as well yeah, yeah. Just, i don't know laos very well so far so i can't really comment but yeah. i really like thailand and i enjoyed my time in hanoi vietnam really recommend also yeah. Yeah. okay Thank you so much. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? You already uh, passed on some wisdom there, but... I don't know, I don't know. Uh, if, if I had to, this this morning, if I had any mes any message in the world, it wouldn't be related to uh, to traveling exactly, I would think. I would say something like live in the moment and, and be happy. If you want to help this channel, please give us a thumbs up and share this video to someone who is interested in Southeast Asia. We're based in Thailand, showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia, and now we are in the capital city of Lao, Vientiane. Thank you all for watching till the very end. Please carry on watching some of the other videos of Chai Travel. Bye for now and stay champ!